Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadow Classes for me, Riser Geek, and we're getting straight back into it. I um did do something I regret though. Uh, I'll get to that after this, I'll see this circle. So we killed the last Colossus, um, and then we had this like stuff seeping out of the closest body and then it shot into us and it made us collapse. And when we woke back up, we're back at the shrine. Um, and, uh, a bit confused. Pardon me. Excuse me. I love the little descriptions they give um, for each last time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I believe that's aggro of my mic. Aggro. So, yeah, the thing I've done that annoyed me. Um, after the last episode, I decided to save the game. Of course. Yeah. Um, I overwritten my other save file, which was my standard game, which I was playing for just my enjoyment, and which means I've now lost everything I was doing in that one. And there was stuff I actually had left to do, because when you finish the game, you just restart, but with all your grip and stamina um, still left. And so now I've lost all that, and I'm pretty annoyed, actually. Um, oh well, no, shit happens. Right, so... We go then. You can see that cave down there, that's where we're going for. Head, I'm just trying to have a strategy to fight the next bosses. So like yeah. I said I said before, um, I know this game pretty well, um, but having to start from the beginning on hard mode is sort of throwing me a bit because there are more stabbing points on each bosses, and also it's just generally harder um, being fought from the beginning because yeah. you have none of your grip bar. But here we go. There's the second one. So this guy, we need to get him a bit lower to our level. And what we can do is use our arrows to see underneath his feet there's like glowy bits. Shit. We need to basically... There we go, like that. And he will 
roll over that foot for a short while. Well, I'm going to thrust to grab hold. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm pretty sure that once you're on this guy, like on top of him, it's hard to actually fall off. There is one here on his tail, if I'm correct. Yes, I can see it. Move <laughs> free is the bum wiggle. When you're not gripping, you, your grip bar won't go down. So, between uh, the stabs, if you can stand up for a bit, it's usually a good idea. That was close. Okay, that sign's done. Like I said, most time, most of the time, there's at least one symbol on their head. I think every cross session is on their head. Uh, oh no, actually no, there is one. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, Let's get a symbol in. I may have made one mighty error thinking there was only. Oh, there's no one on this side, is there?
Oh, they fell off anyway. Or not. Right, so where's this other weak point? Right? Okay, it's over that side apparently. Celebration. I expected to. Um, although I think that one was always like the uh, easiest one, actually, even more than the first one. It doesn't move as much, I suppose. That first one was a bit of a shifter. Um, pardon me. Yeah, uh, we shall leave it here again. Um, probably. Uh, let's have a sneak peek at what's waiting for us next. Um, we'll get the description of the next Colossus, um, and then uh, we'll end it there. I think. So I'm quite comfortable with this game because I know I can do it, um, at least on easy mode, I'm not sure about hard mode. So far so good, doesn't seem to have too many problems. Ah, as you notice, so we've shoot two now, two such broken, and there's two shadow people now stood over us. Worked out yourselves, which people have thought put that out anyway. Um, so, yeah, 14 left. Sleeping giant, no less. So, we shall leave it there for now. Um, hope you've enjoyed. I know I definitely have, and I've been, I think I've been lucky so far. But yeah, until next time, guys. See you later.